Well, hello, hello, and welcome. I know something that everyone likes to do. And if you're thinking, watch the last Black Hammer Artisan video, but I appreciate you. But I have something even better. Eating. There's nothing like a good meal. In fact, a good meal is a basis for a good life. You can quote me on that. And it's a perfect topic for today because we here are all about experimental archaeology. I can guarantee you it's a tradition that's been kept up all throughout history. Eating has developed through the years and is different in many different cultures, but in medieval times as well as now, it is most common to use some sort of utensil. Because we are not barbarians, we will be hand forging today a set of medieval cutlery using the same tools a craftsman from the Middle Ages would have used. So for our first heat here, we are forging the spoon. And don't be afraid to flatten this out very thin because you'll be surprised how thin you can go with this. All right, first heat, that went very well. So when you're doing this part, you just wanna think about how much oatmeal can I fit on this spoon? The answer is, not enough, keep spreading. So I'm just spreading this one side just to make it a little more symmetrical because it's, I want it symmetrical. So what I'm doing here is just squaring it up so that I can twist it. Because if you twist it while it's round, um, you won't really see the twist. So right now I'm just gonna thin this down a little more. Actually, a bit more. The first spoon I made, I made it way thicker than I needed to. It just seems natural to, but you gotta think about it, it's a spoon, so it doesn't actually need to be very strong. And then right now I'm just kind of straightening stuff up. Just spreading the uh, very end of the spoon here for not really any functional reason, just because I think it'll look nice. Okay, so I'm not sure this is a good idea or not, but I'm gonna try and do this cold since I made it pretty thin. And yeah, I'm just doing this over the hardy hole. Uh, ideally, I would do this on a swage block. Just taking it kind of gently and seeing what I like. Medievally, Easily could have been done exactly how I'm doing it, depending on um, tools you might have had. Or 
ideally, the best tool for this would definitely be a swage block, which I don't have at this forge. I'm gonna try and use the ball of that as kind of a forming tool. Try and form this around. Any little like wrinkles. I don't know if you saw that before I hammered it out, but there's like a little bit of a of a wrinkle almost sort of thing going on there. Definitely don't want that. Project there's gonna be these little unevennesses around. That's what the file's for. So I'll show you that in just a sec. Hopefully you can see how much liquid is being held in that spoon. So yeah, it's, it's doing pretty good. One spoonful of toxic quench water. It's doing what a spoon should do. All right, so this right here where I cut it is kind of jagged and even, so I'm going to take the burrs off of the file. All right, I'm going to give you a few seconds to jump down to the comment section and tell me where you think the, the blacksmith burn is. Okay, you done? Right here. I have done this quite a few times, and I know blacksmiths that have gotten much worse burns in front, uh, burns there than me, and that is because almost every time you put, you lock something in the vise, it's hot. This vise is not hot, by the way. And then you lean on the vise, and you forget that it's hot, and it burns you. So, the more you know. There we go, I'm just evening out the top so that it uh, doesn't feel weird when you put it in your mouth. A spoonful of shavings. Just a spoonful of filings helps the medicine go down. Okay, so with quite a bit of brushing and filing, we now have ourselves a finished spoon. It feels pretty good and it looks pretty good, so we're gonna move on to forging the fork now. So right now, I'm just squaring this thing up. Um, what I'm gonna do in just a second, is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna square this up, the whole thing. So I have to cut one end because I have a little bit too much material here. Uh, and then I'm going to twist it, and the fork should be pretty simple. We done pretty quick here. This is hotter than it probably looks to you because the sun's on it. Okay, I'm gonna be splitting the prongs of the fork out here. So just The moment I'm just marking it. Gotta have at least one in every project, right? I always drop it at least once. I'm just starting this so that when I have it hot, it's easier to find properly. The next heat, I'm gonna be coming back to the vise here. I'm gonna split this the rest of the way. Just taking off the burr here.
I'm just beveling it right now. Actually, a little bit over twisted it there, so I just untwisted it. Seems to work out okay. More heat. So now our fork and spoon are finished and I figure it's time to test them out. What better way to test them out than So the fork works very well for doing this sort of thing. It holds it down well and is well spaced for, for cutting uh, when I want to cut steak or, or anything like that. If you want to see how I actually made this ski and do knife, you should check out our last video. Overall, very pleased with how it turned out. When trying to consider cons for this piece, I really can't find any. It, it turned out great. The tines are not perfectly symmetrical, but that doesn't bother me at all. I honestly kind of like it. so. Yeah, I'm very pleased. Now to test out our spoon. What better way to test it out than on some oatmeal? And what better oatmeal than with fresh milk? Doesn't get any fresher than that. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I made it deep enough because that makes a big difference when you're eating and you have a big mouth. Yeah, it works really well. Um, I think it turned out pretty good aesthetically. It's not quite perfectly, not a perfect bowl. That doesn't really bother me, but um, maybe in the future I would uh, I'd make an effort to make it a little more round. But functionally it works. I think it's pretty accurate. It's probably nicer than some of the spoons common people would have had a lot of the time, um, just with the twist and all, but uh, it's very historical as far as I can see, and um, it works very well, so. So, this was an enjoyable process, and uh, these are definitely going to be used in the future. They're going to be a valuable part of my uh, life. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed that process, you might think about subscribing so you can see other ones like it. And uh, until next time, farewell, wherever you're from.
Why are you still here? Go watch that. Uh, seriously, right there. 